Alice, uh, what was that about the postman? I don't know. Isn't anyone coming up to kiss me goodnight? Yeah, honey, in just a second. I just don't understand what's gotten into Sam. He sure was sore this afternoon. Cindy, when did you speak to Sam? He phoned when Alice was at the door hugging the postman. Maybe that's what made him mad. Well, I was hugging the postman because I'd won the cunt. How did Sam know that? I told him. Oh, Cindy. Alice, uh, why don't you and I go in the kitchen and call Sam back? Maybe between the two of us, we can straighten this thing out. Oh, please, Mrs. Brady. Sam is just so jealous. Yeah, I think the time's come for a little one-sided discussion here. Hop up there. I want you to listen to me very carefully. Cindy, um, you know you've done a very bad thing with your tattling. Yes, Daddy. I know it's difficult for a little girl to know what to say and what not to say. Grown-ups have that same problem, but uh, you have to learn when to keep quiet. But what if someone asks me where Mommy is? Can't I tell them? Yes, of course you can. Even if she's hugging the postman? <laughs> Cindy, the point is that you are not to tattle about other people's business anymore. Now, I mean never. Because if you do, you're going to be punished. Is that clear? Yes, Daddy. Good, I hope so. Well, we just spoke to Sam. Everything's fine. He'll be right over. And as for you, young lady... Daddy already told me. Well, I hope you were firm enough, Mike. He was. <laughs> Tiger, come back here! Give me back my paper! That hairy thief, he took it right off my desk! That does it. I, if, if that hound snitches one more thing, I'm gonna ship him off to Siberia. Would you really do that to Tiger, Daddy? Never mind about Tiger. You just remember what your father told you. Don't worry, Mommy. I'll never tell on anyone again. Yeah, well, I would like to believe that. Well, I'll believe it when I don't hear it.